40 years on, it is an event as spectacular today as it was then. Some scenes from this documentary are well known and have been viewed many times, but this is the first time in decades that Apollo 11's launch on this day in 1969 has been seen in such detail. And it is thanks to the work of one man, director Theo Kanaka. What sticks in my mind is the, the, uh, the moment of launch itself. And you keep pinching yourself to say, what am I, what am I feeling about all this? And I guess uh, just that what a wonderful opportunity this was to be up close to something as important as this. The documentary was intended by NASA as a time capsule recording not just the lunar mission, but the preparation that went into it and the immense public interest it generated. Unfortunately though, NASA lost the original film. It was only when a British producer contacted the director, it emerged he'd kept a copy under his desk. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I really had thought by that time that it was completely lost. So it was an extraordinary <laughs> and thrilling moment and uh, it's been a wonderful six months trying to kind of bring it back and open the time capsule again. Tracking index, mark is the same. Roger, we copy. The fellow who assigned me the film at, at NASA said to me, uh, by the time you get this film finished, nobody's going to care. Don't, don't let that worry you. Just make a good film that uh, somebody can look at in the future. That's one small step for man. And on the 40th anniversary of that small step, there has indeed been a giant leap of interest in the Apollo 11 mission. This film shows not just how it happened, but what it meant to mankind. Phil Raysmith, ITV News.